Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing my February empties. Really quickly, I did dye my hair again. Um, it's purple at the bottom. I went through a little bit of a rebellious phase with my hair because I got in a fight with my boyfriend and I decided that I wanted to do something different. I wanted lavender, but it is hella, hella dark purple, so I'm really hoping that it will fade um, soon, but... That's what it looks like. So if you're wondering about my hair, that's what happened. Yeah, I'm just going to get started. Um, the first thing I finished was my Sugar Plum Dream Shower Gel. This lasted me pretty long. Actually, I've had this since about December-ish. And yeah, it smells delicious. It reminds me of like Christmas and like the holidays. So that's that. Um, I also finished my Tokyo Lotus and Apple Blossom one. This is very musky. It's like a very warm musky scent. Definitely not what I expected. I was expecting fruity. It has like a little tiny hint of fruitiness but it's more of like apple blossom versus like the actual apple fruit. And yeah, it's kind of very floral and very very nice winter scent. I actually really did enjoy this stuff. Um, my next thing I finished was my pink sangria candle from Bath and Body Works and yeah, it's been a good month when I finished a candle um, because I have so many as you guys know. Um, so yeah, this is just like the mini size, not like the huge one so I don't know necessarily like an accomplishment but that's that. <laughs> I finished my Proactive Refining Mask finally. I've had this for a while actually. It's lasted me pretty long. Um, and I use this all the time as like a night treatment, uh, like a spot treatment at nighttime. So yeah, that's that. Um, my finished my Nexus Humectress Conditioner. I have a bunch of these samples as I mentioned in my previous empties video so you'll be seeing this quite often. It's my favorite conditioner just for like the top layers of my hair. It's very hydrating but not too heavy and thick. With a thicker conditioner on my ends and like the middle part of my hair. Um, I like to go with like a hair mask or something like that but this is good for like the top layers of my hair so I really like it. I finished my Avene Thermal Spring Water. This is just like a facial spray. My mom had actually purchased this and she didn't know how to use it and I was like explaining it to her. She thought it was just like, well I guess you can use it for your body because that's how the person sold it to her. Um, she said that you can use it on your hands and on your skin and it just makes it like... It just locks in the moisture, I guess, if you're using a moisturizer and you have really dry skin. But um, I had mentioned that this is actually a really good facial spray and my mom and me just kind of used it up together. And it was really good. I actually did like the stuff. It's kind of like the Evian makeup setting spray stuff. I finished some oil blotting papers, of course. I finally finished the My Beauty Diary Strawberry Yogurt Sheet Mask. I've had this for like... A while I want to say almost a year I would only use this like once a week because it's a really hydrating sheet mask and I would stick to my lush blueberry mask for most of the days of a week I guess I would use that one about four times a week versus this one I would use just one time just to you know balance out my skin because I find my skin looks a lot nicer and um, doesn't break out as much once it's balanced and it's not like uber oily but I have a little bit of moisture you know so I really did like this mask I think I like the aloe one a little bit better it's a little bit more moisturizing and a little bit more cooling on your skin so I will probably purchase that one next I finished a couple deodorants actually one like broke in half or whatever it was just near the end anyways but yeah this is the dove powder one and I also finished the dove cool essentials cucumber and green tea one this is actually expired it has like a tiny bit left but I'm like I'm just gonna toss it out so I love dove deodorants they're my fave I'm currently using one of the fresh scented ones I think it's like the pomegranate one I really really like it I finished the MAC False Lashes Mascara. I actually have another mascara that I forgot to include in here. It's in my makeup bag still. Um, I'm going to actually be doing a What's in My Makeup Bag video soon because I feel like I carry a lot of interesting stuff with me. So, um, yeah. The MAC False Lashes Mascara. This lasted me super, super long. Usually my mascara dries up after like a month and a half to two months-ish. But literally this thing lasted me from like November all the way to like last month, the end of last month. So 
I used to carry this around with me everywhere, and that's what the brush looks like. It was a pretty good mascara. It was pretty decent, so yeah, I did really like that, and it's really in really cute packaging. I also finished a sample of the Dior Show. This is the new mascara from Dior. They reformulated it and made it um, less likely to dry up, apparently, because they kind of switched the packaging around. And this is what the brush looks like. Super nice, big, fluffy brush. <laughs> and yeah, this was pretty good mascara. It's nothing special, in my opinion. Like, you get, you could get a drugstore mascara for you know, half the price, not even half the price of this. I, I want to say this is like around $30. You can get one at the drugstore for $8 that does the same thing. So, I probably won't be repurchasing this. Um, my next thing, oh, I have another lotion here. I finished the Wrapped in Comfort lotion. Oh my gosh, this thing smells so good. Um, this was one of their winter scents. It smells like cashmere and almond cream. Yes, this stuff was amazing. It smelled so good. Ugh, just smells like, you know, one of those cozy scents that you would use in the wintertime when it's cold. So yeah, I did really enjoy that. And getting on to the final few things. I finished another mascara sample, and this is the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. And this is, you know, one of those, like, samples you get once you order something from their website. And this was an okay mascara. It dried up pretty fast, I want to say. But yeah, that's what the brush looks like. These samples are not meant to last very long, I can tell you that. They dry out like in the, like a week or so. I finished my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I need to buy another eye primer because I'm actually using my Urban Decay samples. But yeah, this, this little tube lasted me a very long time. I want to say like six months or something. And it's like the tiny little trial size ones that comes with like the palettes. So yeah, I was really impressed by how long this lasted. I finished a Melting Marshmallow hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. And the very last thing was this fresh sugar lip treatment. Um, I ended up, like, I don't know when this was a Sephora birthday gift. I want to say, like, a couple years ago. But I ended up with, like, a few of them for some reason. I don't know. But, um, yeah. This is a really good moisturizing lip butter type feeling product or whatever. But just melts super super fast and it's not even hot here so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye everyone